Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Physics Walla, India's most loved learning platform. You are on a journey to score more than 90% in your board exams. Remember one thing, board exam is not a competition, all right? It is the check of your comprehensive abilities. They are not comparing you with anyone. They are only checking you how much you have understood from the scheme of curriculum, right? So you have to be smart enough to understand the exam pattern, understand the evaluation scheme, and understand the syllable set for the comprehensive abilities checking, right? So you have to keep certain things in mind. This is my strategy that I'm giving to you. What are the things that you should definitely keep in mind to score a benchmark percentile which is more than 90 right so revision revision is the single most effective strategy to enhance your score in any exam right you're not starting from the scratch you're picking on from a point where you already know a lot of things but you are just categorizing them what is the effective way what is the best presentation all these things have to be sorted out in this uh, time period of board booster series right guys revision is the best and most important strategy and how do you revise you have to revise each and every subject on a daily basis right so revision you are already on the boat of revision so be thorough with the concepts once you are thorough with the concepts it is natural tendency that you are going to forget things but you have to keep revising them quite often regularly so that you don't forget because you are already on the journey of learning you have learned so much you just have to revise things the next is understanding the exam pattern right how much of marks is coming from which category which chapter contains what is the weightage all these things have to be very clear so you should understand the exam pattern very clearly it's like jumping onto the war field without knowing who is my competitor you have to understand the exam pattern first right revision is like your arrow but the war field is understanding the exam pattern right and again solve model model papers what do i mean by model papers right it is like getting acquainted with the previous was structure that has happened right you should know what is the type of question that is going to come solve two or three model papers you understand how the war is going to be right on time right on the field when you face the exam it's going to be a different story but you know somebody has done it the same structure that you are going to follow right now right so solving model papers is one of the second and most useful strategy right revision and solving model papers is very important right so now focus on subjective knowledge right there is a mcq part right so which carries 20 percent of the weightage in 70 marks given to theory so theory has 70 marks right theory has 70 marks right in this 70 marks 16 of the questions are going to be mcq right mcq type questions so here there is no one mantra for mcq you have to understand the subject very clearly right and solve some variety of mcqs but you have to focus on subjective knowledge mcqs will not come by practicing more and more problems mcqs will come by going in depth into the subject right you should know in and out of every topic you study then mcq becomes very easy and on the last and very important thing is if you don't believe in yourself right if you don't keep up yourself up for the progression that you are going to do who else is going to so you have to be positive you have to be right at most in the best of your health energy you have to be healthy you have to be positive and also confident it is not competition right board exam is clearly not a competition it is just the check of your comprehensive abilities so be clear it is you versus you 
so you have to be positive right you have to do as better as possible to score 90 percent it's not a competitive exam be clear with that now study effectively you have to study effectively it's a revision plan you studied everything all in all together already but how do you study effectively right you have to be smart practice writing long answers so you have learned you have sit and uh, seen the things you have gone through the script of someone else's notes of the reference book you are going through but you have to practice without writing without shooting an arrow how are you going to know like you have to sit and write then only you know so for example let's say like i am writing one line right for a one mark question how should i present it how should i present it how should i underline it if i have the time you have to practice only when you practice you know how much time i have to present the paper in the best manner possible right you have to practice writing the long answers and also remember the deal breaker points for derivation there is a derivation right you have to derive something or you have to prove something see in those cases there's a ardent fast rule people right mug off everything in that page do 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 revise 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 uh, 10 times they say 10 times they say they remember everything if at all in the middle one point breaks you fumble upon like how to start that should not be there you should remember the deal breaker point which means let's say you're doing a derivation for potential at a point right what is the potential at a point you want to do that derivation there has to be deal breaker you are deriving potential at a point because of a dipole electric dipole what is the deal breaker you just add potential because of these two things separately that's it right that has to be deal breaker and at the end you have to arrive at some expression remember that expression so deal breaker is the very important thing for derivation otherwise you have to mug up a lot right and also in case you forget it you're done like you you can't get out of that confusion mode where do i start where do i start so if you have the deal breaker this means i will hold on to this starting point right so that deal breaker has to be there and solve variety of problems when you solve problems you don't learn the same physics right you don't learn the same theory when you read the same theory you learn the same old theory but when you solve problems you get a new perspective to the theory you have learned right so in physics solving problems doesn't teach you what you learned it teach you something which you haven't learned before like uh, a problem gives you better perspective of the theory which is trying to tell you right solving more problems is not practice solving more problems is a way of enhancing your perspective on the subject so solve more problems variety of problems to understand the subject better and follow your handwritten notes you have spent so much of time into your 12th already if you do not have your handwritten note means what is the purpose right see you should have your own approach because you are the one who is going to write exam right it's not somebody's paper you are going to copy you have to copy your notes in your own best possible presentation that's why you should follow your own notes you should stick to that notes add on points like if you find something new add on to your notes and make it better but you should have your own notes along with reference books and other things that you use that is okay but you should have your own book that is notes right now marking scheme again understanding the marking scheme is very important what is carrying what type of percentage right there are three categories competency based problems and we have select responses and constructed responses right competency based questions means case studies right so there is a different physical setup in which they are introducing a new thing right so those competency case based questions you have to solve means you should be thorough with the subject be strong with the subject to solve these question you need to be strong with subject and application and select responses which means mcq carries 20% of the weightage in which like you have four options you need to 
pick one and also assertion reasons questions will be there so just get a hands on like how the uh, topic will be utilized in creating such questions again this fall back to what you are subject to understanding so mcq people think that mcq is tough only when you do not know the subject very clearly in depth right mcq is there to understand how a question is going to be framed right but the answer the solution to that is going to come from your subjective understanding right just look at the model papers what is the level of difficulty but a simplest question which is unknown can be asked right so these things can only be solved when you study more and more so you refer to model papers just to understand the difficulty level but subjective knowledge should be there again this is also be strong with the subject be strong with you solve mcqs to understand okay in neat these type of questions as in je these type of questions as but in cbse this is the level right you understand you compare yourself to those things now constructed response it is like a copy paste thing right there is a certain question which is going to come you have already come across in the that in the past so you have to construct that response which means give away what you have learned already right this is going to be 40% clear guys so out of this 70 marks in theory this is the split competency 40% select response 20% constructed response 40% right again and this theory if you talk talk about the right subject wise distribution of this one right you have electrostatics and current electricity carrying 90 16 marks moving charges magnetism magnetism matter electromagnetic induction ac carrying 17 marks and also em waves and optics right em waves and optics 18 marks dual nature atoms nuclei it's carrying 12 marks at the end you have electronic devices semiconductor based questions right this is going to be seven marks is the split clear right see again if you learn electrostatics and current electricity magnetism is going to be very easy that is the advantage in physics each and every chapter is linked and it's an enhanced knowledge of the previous chapter you learned electricity right you learned electrostatics your current electricity became simple you learned these two your moving charges and magnetism became very simple right you learned all these three things and electromagnetic induction became very simple now when you have electromagnetic induction with these all things alternating currents became very simple right physics is linked do not go by the back right so go by the front approach once you learn this you learn this you learn this there is a scheme of understanding things right so physics is very simple when you go in the right direction which is follow the pattern set by them right go by the first chapter till the end things become very easy because your mind only uh, registers the patterns patterns is there patterns is there when research and development has done into developing these things right so there is definitely a pattern go by first to last approach it's going to be very easy because your mind finds a patterns to remember things guys clear that's it again you have to be at most of the best of your health energy and stay positive stay confident scoring 90% in board exam is going to be very simple because it is just comprehensive check of your abilities of the past learnings that's it you're not competing with anyone competition is a, z- a different zone how much ever you good you're compared with someone but your it is how best you can present of the things you know right that's it everyone thank you so much i'll see you in the next Uh, series for this one next video for your strategy we will keep up with the learning process to better your score in cbse exam thank you so much everyone tada bye bye